ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Did you miss us? It's been a little bit, but the action here is only just about to get started. Even though we were gone for quite a while, we're about to get underway with another fantastic Rocket League series. This time, it's going to be our green team, and they have their next opponents coming up. And the match is hopefully not too, too far away. In any case, I am Daniil, also known as Betis McGee, joined by the one and only... Mr. Danners, your producer here at St. Clair College for the esports teams. And of course, this next matchup here that we are going to be having should, in theory, be a close one. And I know I just said that last time. And we got quite the showing there from the St. Clair Saints Academy roster, putting Twice. on an absolute show, 3-0 and a handshake versus George Mason. But now the second part here is going to be, of course, our St. Clair Saints green roster up against Lubbock Christian University, or LCU, as we may refer to it as uh, here and there. But... Um, LeBoc's been in a pretty good position so far this season. They've only dropped one series so far in the last, or throughout this entire season so far, of course. And it was against the University of Akron, so okay, fair, fair enough. enough yeah. Like we that's not a like um, a gimme in any sorts. The hell, Akron, obviously one of the better, if not one of the best teams in our uh, or in the Nace League right now. To compare, the Saints Green roster ended up going to five games versus the University of Akron. And we did win that, but barely. So if uh, LCU here is on par with fighting with Akron, they're definitely on par with fighting with us. And we have to see what kind of St. Clair Saints green roster we do get, because in NACE overall, they've been pretty dang dominant. In the first two weeks of CRL Open, they've been relatively dominant, getting a eighth and a second, I believe, respectively. But then whatever just happened last week happened, and we were the talk of the town for all of the wrong reasons in the Rock League community, because uh, Green definitely had themselves an off week. So we'll have to see what, which uh, Saints Green roster we have here today as we kick off here with game number one. These kinds of games are always really exciting and really scary for the reasons you just laid out, Dan. This could either be the revitalization of the green team back into form and showing us what we know they're capable of, oh. or it could be the mark of a downward trend and process looking to start that darn downward trend strong, almost getting a goal here. But Fabzo turning things around, going for a shot. Jazzy following up off of that one. Fabzo chasing this one down. Sai chasing that ball. Oh. It's going straight towards the net. No one there to save it. That's one on the board for LCU, and things are not looking very good right now for the Saints, especially with all what we were mentioning just before. Hey, a sharp little angle there from Schmax, though, on the side of LeBach Christian University. Put that in nice and quick, of course, to introduce the rest of our opponents here on LCU. That's uh, the Serum Process and Schmax. We're <laughs> starting roster here for your Saints. It's going to be the usual suspects. We have Fabso, Jazzy, and Sai. And they are all looking to try and put this one back into the blue side for the first time here into this game. Bit process. Immediately knowing exactly what they had to do to clear it out. And Sai actually going to get a pass after an interception. Double tap. But it is going to be smacked away. And back into the corner. Goes there for Jazzy. He looks to find a centering pass. But it's just going to be stuck in the corner for now. Sai taking it out of the corner with alacrity. Followed up by his teammate Jazzy. Almost going for the shot. But going to miss. Finds himself in the corner. Now Fabzo trying for another shot. Jazzy getting bounced out of the way from what should have been his goal. Saints carrying this back to their sides where they have a little bit more control. There's not so many LeBach Christian University players over here. A shot coming out from Sai. Almost finds his way in, but a nice last second save coming out from LCU. Bob's trying to follow up, but another save coming through, and that's going to be the one that finally finds the mark. Jazzy on the floor, ready, in position, finds the goal. One-to-one -one now, saves against LeBach. There we go. That's exactly the St. Clair Saints green roster. We know and love the passing plays that they've notoriously been, I guess, known for here since going to St. Clair Absolutely. from uh, Europe. And just being able to convert on those more often than not. And a beautiful job there to find the Saints player in the slot. Sai now trying to fit himself into that slot. Circle, whole oh, square peg. He gets in regardless. Another goal on the board for Sai and the Saints in green. Another beautiful setup. Another beautiful shot. And like you said, Dan, there just another go. classic pass play, but this time a little bit more double tap action. A little bit of extra double tap action. A little bit of goaltender interference as well, which is what I like to see. Because, yeah, they had two people in net ready to make the save. But it's kind of hard to get to the ball when there is a car in front of you and just pushes you away. So 
That is going to be Labak trailing now. Saints Green getting themselves a one goal lead after an early deficit, answering with two extremely quickly. Yeah, Jazzy answering the carry from Process pretty well. He's going to find his way bouncing back over to Blue. Schmacked getting beat by Sai. Going to go for a shot, but thankfully Process there able to stop that in his tracks. Fobzo tipping this one towards the sky. Going to get stolen out from underneath him before he can make too much work out of it. Jazzy catching this on the ground, still in the corner, bouncing slow and high. Sai double tapping this one, no. triple tap to find the goal. <laughs> Oh, just sitting there in the corner. He steered it slowly. Watch that go. That's one off the wall, one more, and before it hits the ground, tips it with his tire, sends it in, unsuspecting Labak, unable to do anything about that goal. That went from being looking relatively unthreatening and that he was just, oh, he was waiting to set it up. Yeah, for himself. I did not expect that in the slightest. Beautifully done there from Sai. However, Labak Christian University can be firing back on all cylinders here. Ooh. And a little bit of a cluster right here in the right hand side, but it is going to be Fabsa who gets it over to Sai for a nice clearing attempt. It's going to be going towards the net, but not enough to actually uh, threaten a goal this time by Fabso. Not going to be able to get it to his partner there, Jazzy. Was able to get a piece of it, but it's going to go right back down to the Saints' zone. Offensive opportunity wow. here for us to you, and they're not going to be able to get the shot on target as Sai is there for the deflection. I think he just barely missed that one, but that doesn't mean it's not going to go their way. Jazzy oh. finds the ball, but Nearsome is going to find it instead. Fabzo tipping some to this guy just to slow down the offense a little bit. Sai and Fabzo in position now, but whether or not they'll be able to make this work, we're going to find out just as soon as they get that passing play forward. Jazzy finds it now right in front of Blue Net, process stealing it away from him. 1.15 on the clock now. Fabzo playing for center field while the Seamus are playing in the sides. Nurism's going to get bounced out of the way pretty aggressively by Sai as Process and Schmack go for the net. Not going to find it quite yet. Rolling it off to the corner. Fabzo taking it out. Yeah, and that's going to be all the way up to the side. Who's going to be able to carry this one down. We just have the minute remaining here in the first game. Saves has got to kill some time here. Fabzo with control. And with all these demos coming across the LCU uh, garage, just they're not going to be able to get the offense that they're looking for. A one-on-one -on -one opportunity here for Process, but he's too high to actually get the shot on target. Awkward little pass here from Sai. He's going to just end up dumping into his own corner. Could have been dangerous, but it's not going to uh, be a problem this time anyway. Um, so in the corner once again, a little bit of interception though off the Saints back forward, looking for the shot, but it is not going to come on through. And with Sai being able to control this in the LCU crease, this one is probably good as done. And yeah, like I said, it's pretty close to over here. 15 seconds on the clock. Labak would need to get two to even just tie things up, let alone to try to win this game. With that being said and done, Saints are going to lead this series 1-0 against Labak Christian University. Some would say this is the expected results. Some, after last week, might say this is a bit of a surprise. In any case, this is the first one in the history books for this series. And we're about to find out how the rest of it's going to unfold. Hey, for Saints Nation, this is exactly the kind of look that you're going to be wanting to see and as you see smiles across the board here exactly the kind of game that the green roster wanted for themselves with maybe the exception of how that first couple seconds went because to yeah. get a gold like that quick on you is so easy to get tilted especially if like your last uh little bit of a run like kind of struggled a bit mm -hmm. so i was definitely worried there for a second but then they immediately got two goals after the fact I was like okay it's okay, they're back. Yeah, after and that first goal, I saw good. the series flash before my eyes. Like, <laughs> it, it could be over here, but they were able to shake off the tilt and take us now to game two. Yeah, no flashbacks to last weekend. Brand new adventure here for our Saints roster as of right now. Of course, game two just getting started here. Schmack, though, from LCU on the offensive. Awkward little spot in the Saints crease looking for the shot. The serum is going to barely get the shot off, but it is going to be immediately blocked right at the top of the crease. There is going to be Jazzy. Schmack's trying to get past one. He can test one, past two. He's going to get uh -oh. past all three of them, but it's going to go off the post. But the rebound for Process after a fantastic individual effort. Yes, yeah, Sai almost saving that one out there but just wasn't able to find the full clear yeah if the ball bounced a little bit too far and that allowed process to get that rebound shot and take that one once again we're in a similar situation to the first game Lavoc leading 1-0 against the Saints in a pretty messy fashion on the Saints side defensive wise hopefully they are able to turn things back around as they did in that first game process of trying to seal things out and make a repeat situation from the last few seconds. Sai denying it. Jazzy following up off of that shot. Bobzo not quite in position, but still bouncing it back as Sai tries to make this something miraculous, taking this to the crossbar, waiting for a teammate. Bobzo oh. going to get beat out by Schmack. The ball
ball going back to Orange now. Yeah, Process has all the control in the world right now, but it is going to be some one of the Saints players up there to greet them. Going to be covered by uh, Jazzy and then off the side, but now Schmack was able to pick it up in the Saints zone off the corner, but it is not going to go to an LCU player. It's going to go right to Sai actually off the backboard. Never mind, the serum is right there to stop the Saints offense for the time being. Sends it right back into the Saints player zone. Schmack nearly uh -oh. had an opportunity to deflect that in, but it actually went over his car. Could not quite get the shot. They had the demo and everything, but could not capitalize this wow. time. Another demo, two in a row here for Lavac as Beersom taking this to Orange Corner, actually beating out that 50 in oh. process, almost getting that shot. A big deny coming out from the Saints. They are not going to go down to, oh, oh yeah, Schmack going for another shot. Sai desperately trying to clear this one. He's not going to be able to find it. Another setup coming up from Nearsome, but not going to be followed up on by his team. Rolling into the corner now. Jazzy trying to clear it, but once again, Process is going to deny that. Finally, Jazzy gets it into the air, but finally not. Nearsome taking it back into the corner. They're going to take this out. Fabzo desperately trying to get this out of harm's way and taking it straight to blue side. Almost finds a goal, in fact. Process right back where he needed to be. Taking Making that to be a nice save, Jazzy bouncing this towards the corner as they were going for it, a clear attempt. Now Saints giving the block the taste of the medicine. Oh. Bobzo with a demo just to make it even more bitter. Zai carrying this ever so gently, trying to find it to the center of the field, but not quite. Jazzy stopping the clear from finding its way back to Orange, and they're just playing a game of aggression, not allowing. Lebok to take things back to the Saints' side. They want to be relentless, and we said it before in that first game uh, for the Academy team. You can save one or two, but can you save seven, eight, nine shots in a row? Someone's going to crack eventually. Absolutely. And yeah, I'll see you with a lot more offensive opportunities, but we're starting to see the offense really start to kick in here from St. Clair Saints Green with some fantastic defense coming out here from the Serum and the rest of LCU. Now pushing on forward into the Saints zone. Going to force Jazzy up to the top to try and Bring it on down, carrying it on over, trying to deal versus two. Going to be pushed aside in the end, so it's going to allow Schmack to try and carry it for the time being. A little bit of a lost ball in center field. Oh, it's going to be passed on forward. A little bit of awkward bounce, oh. and it is going to be tied up after Jazzy was able to lead that thing in, but that was an absolute cluster. That confused me for a second there. I, the way it looked like, I thought Jazzy was playing defense for a second. He was trying <laughs> to go for the save, and it got you know pushed into it, but I just realized, yeah, they're on blue side for a second. The way the ball goes, it's really really hard to tell who's leading because these teams just go back and forth so rapidly. But Saints able to tie things up now. They're slowly finding their stride once again against the Black Christian University. They struggled a little bit in the first half of this game, but now things are tied. It's a fresh start and a nice shot from Sai coming from half field, finding its way to the corner of the net, catching everybody off guard. That's a nice pass play. Like we said, that's kind of what this team is known for. You think they're playing with feet, not with wheels, with how precise these shots are at times. Absolutely. When they're able to slow it down like that and actually set up those plays, it is their conversion rate must be something absolutely ridiculous, like 70% like or higher, because it seems like those never fail to one be on target or ever be saved for the most part, unless the goalie just happens to already be there, because usually nobody can make it back in time. And now, uh -oh. speaking of a passing play once again, we're going to see it off the crossbar this time, though. Again, I guess on target, but uh, I guess the crossbar is your best friend sometimes as a defender. But right back the other way, the Sirium is going to pay of dividends here for LCU after a good little breakout gets past one and gets their own pass off the backboard. Yeah, Nasirium just wants to be on cloud nine right now, seeing how the Saint trying to go for the defense there was upside down, desperate to get that save, not able to find it in the end. Now we're tied 2-2 with one on the board remaining for both of these teams to break the tie. Oh, geez. We'll fight it out in overtime. Another shot would have been really nice for the block, but Saints are going to be able to stop that one. Jazzy tipping this towards the crossbar process, not even going to allow it to reach there. They know the danger that comes from a pass towards your net on the Saints. It's going to be a nice intercept for Bob. So bringing things back to the center side would have had a perfect shot, but Nasterium was in perfect position. It seems that LeBlanc is there, but bouncing it off of the ceiling, a shot was inevitable but 
process is even more inevitable when it comes to the defense of things. Schmacked taking this to the Saints side once more. Shot going to be denied by Jazzy. Side tipping it back towards blue side. 20 seconds remaining for the Saints to get a shot. Can they find it? Fabzo not going to get there in time before it's going to get intercepted once again. Process doing so much work on the side of LeBlanc in terms of stopping these shots for the Saints. Process going for one more off oh the crossbar. Schmacked was almost there and they're trying to get it going nice and slow once again. The Saints just are dying for an overtime right now. They'd be happy with it as long as it doesn't get in from LeBlanc. And here it is, just about to hit the ground and less process. That's a great they want one up. more. Bobzo intercepting it. Maybe this could be the shot for the Saints side, but no, Schmacked doing what Schmack does best and Schmacks the ball away. Fabzo looking for the follow-up, however. None of these teams want this ball to hit the ground. They want to end it here and now, but it's inevitably not quite actually. Sai almost goes for something really scary there, but I think now there it's going to go to the overtime. These teams are on fire, both respectively. I was going to say, LC would have been kicking themselves had the Saints been able to turn that around since they had all the time in the world to let that hit the ground and just reset but now sure enough it does eventually hit the ground here and this thing's crawling it's going towards the Saints net drag race wow. it right outside the goal line the process still has control brings it over to the Sirium looking for the overtime winner has process there as well but no sign is going to interfere with that pop fly towards middle let's go back the other way Fab so now with control bounces it towards the net and slow it down for just a second here is a very very close opportunity here for LCU. One more opportunity, but could not quite get it done. Gotta say, that save something else entirely. And LeBlanc Christian University must have felt that they had that game, but not quite the Saints. I thought it was ring. done. I thought those, I thought so too, but Sai wanting to be oh! on the Saints side with a beautiful pass all the way from Orange, tipping it down. Gotta get a nice double look at that one. You can't miss a play that beautiful. Jazzy taking that straight to the net. Three to two now. Saints leading 2-0 against LeBlanc Christian University. They must be feeling fantastic right now. Looking at their friends in the pit too, cheering on. I can hear people cheering on them for outside. Hey, that, that's what I love to see. Not just everybody, of course, watching online, which of course, I always love seeing everybody here online, but having the community here on campus as well is just makes my day to see, I'm sure, for all the players as well. But to get an overtime winner like that, just to straight up brute force it like that, I mean, again, it doesn't have to be pretty, but it could still be super effective as we do see Saints now taking the 2-0 lead here in this one with game three right around the corner. It's Rocket League, of course. They don't want to waste any time with this one with all the Love momentum that the Saints have. But yeah. You mean we don't have to do lobby resets for like 30 <laughs> minutes in between each game? Hmm. Or drafts or anything like that? I'm but just glad I don't have class tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a late night for everybody. But Green trying to make this quick work. They can somehow make this a 3-0 series. Yeah, Sai also looking to make quick work of this ball on orange side, ending its time abruptly. Now blue is where it's going to live. And unless they want to take things back to orange, this thing must have a dual citizenship with how much it travels across the field. Sai now Ooh. clear past from Jazzy taking out process and that's going to be a rebound interception turned into a oh. pass but side just misses that one sometimes even the perfect players will miss once or twice and that's going to be that one miss at the loud for the series no more misses guys things are getting dangerous we saw what LeBlanc is capable of in those first two games Saints must recognize that they want to end things now while they still have the chance for LeBlanc to really find their way back into the series yeah, we'll see if LeBlanc can happen to get this first goal again here because they've done so in both games, but not so far. But four minutes left to go. Sai looking for his own rebound. It's going to hit the crossbar. Nice little attempt, though. Little process. Going to go the other way towards the Saints side. Jazzy, though, was able to beat them out to the ball since they had no boost left. Now break out the other way. Schmack is going to be there. Does manage to get to the ball before Fabso does. So no pressure as of this moment. A little bit of a battle in the midfield. Schmack looking for what to do. Pops it up. Process off the backboard. Can they find an LCU player? Shot on target, but a huge save here from Fabso. And Sai is going to go up to try and stop this thing, slow it down a little bit more, and pass it off to a Saint. We've seen a lot of incredible saves. But I really feel like that one was special. Mm -hmm. I think that one was just really destined for the net. And the save looked 100%. simple, and it kind of was. But the fact that it happened was really the miraculous part. I feel like they really shouldn't have been prepared for it, and they were. And now Saints still breathing a sigh of relief that the series is still 0-0 in this Game 3 situation. They want to keep their aggression up because they are still reeling from that almost goal of just coming to the block. Doing so now, Sai passing it back to center 
center field. Schmack is going to take that to the ceiling side, just stealing it before it hits the ground. And that's going to be an interception mid-air from Jazzy. No more boost, so he's going to have to rely on a teammate button. Uh-oh. Now Process riding this one off the ceiling. It's straight in the center, but Fabzo passes that one out. Process oh, bouncing off the corner. Side is going to at least take down Nerissium. Schmack going to miss that ball as it flies to the blue corner. Everyone has a little bit of a time to re and refill their boost before they go for another hugely aggressive run. Yeah, that's a good couple of, well, like, minute or a couple seconds or so there for LCU. Lots of aggression, lots of shot opportunities. Just could not necessarily find the one that actually made uh, contact with the net. This is now passing this one back. As the side does get demoed oh on. My process with a double demo, actually, taking Fabs off the field as well. So any sort of aggression the Saints had in that time has just been pretty well deleted. So he's going to try and get themselves back in here slowly but surely, but of course having to load on all of that moves definitely takes some time. But now it's their opportunity to get moving here, Fab. So they're going to try and bring this into the LCU zone. Off to Sai. Sai from the corner, centering pass to the front, and he's going to just end up going a little bit wide. But it is still stuck in the LCU zone. Up until I believe that was process was able to clear it for just a second. Or might come back the other way. Oh what a God. redirect from Sai from what looks like a stray ball. A play so sick, it destroyed the damn game. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. Kind of ricocheting. Realistically, I can't even put to words all the factors that made that shot possible. But off the ceiling, into the net, that's what you want to see if you're on the side of the Saints. He's like a bat the way he's hanging upside down, but it's like he's staying on his own two feet, comfortable and mm -hmm. confident taking these goals. We're back oh. on the side already. Sai with full boost, looking dangerous. He's cruising around on the ground, taking this right over Process's head. There you go. Jazzy with the follow-up off the crossbar. Bank shot. You're getting these Saints. Once they get one, there's blood in the water. Maybe we shouldn't be called Saints. We should be called the piranhas or something. It's a feeding frenzy over on the blue net, and it is not looking to be stopping anytime soon. Two to zero right now in game three, with 120 remaining. Things are looking hard for the buck. And so Saints finally break the curse of not getting scored on first, and they immediately snowball it. That is extremely dangerous here for yeah. the Bach Christian University. And now you definitely got yourself a mountain to climb, and apparently the mountain is filled with bats. So good luck trying to deal with that one. That cannot be a comfortable time when you got Sai and Jazzy so comfortable oh and just God. flying around with these extremely odd angles. How do you try to deal with it? Ooh. Demos is one of them, and in fact, it's only Sai who gets the Sirium this time. They try and slow things down, but actually, all oh, that was probably their best opportunity in a while, but a good save there from Jazzy. If they only can get at least two or three more of those opportunities within 40 seconds, then they'll still have a chance in the series, but what the Saints are right now, I'm not liking the odds. Jazzy taking down Process, and also going for the clear, in fact, Sai turning this into a setup. Process denying it, tearing it down, tearing out all the cables. Oh. <laughs> look at Jazzy getting a little bit of revenge and really disrupting their play, allowing Sai to go for another shot attempt, but in fact, kind of off things to just make it stay where it is, not allowing that interception to disrupt it too much, which is going to allow Sai to come back from the behind and go once more process, bouncing off the wall in the corner as well, waiting for that shot attempt. Bobzo here to get the save. Oh, that nice punt. bump. Oh my <laughs> god, that might have been the save the Saints needed to keep this game blemish-free. 2-0 against LeBlanc Christian University in game three, taking the series three to nothing against one of the strongest teams in this division. Absolutely, LC was no slouch, but as you can see, smiles on the faces. They know this was an absolute good win and Playing to the crowd. Just playing to the crowd as well. It's awesome once again to see every, or see and hear everybody from the crowd cheering the squad on. But uh, yeah, that that little punt or that bump at the very, very end there too, because there was still five seconds on the clock. Yeah. Had that shot gone off and like one time shot that like ended up going in, mm -hmm. you could have made like one more face off play happen and we could have been in a much different place, but it's always it's those little yelling. things that uh, don't necessarily show up on the scoreboard that can still make such a big difference here. And the Saints have just been able to find all of them, which is definitely good to see. Uh, good rebounds uh, for a while, what happened last uh, weekend. Yeah, absolutely. And they're coming back strong. I feel like, like you said, they don't show up on the scoreboard, but I think it should. Bumps definitely should get added. It would at least make it so I don't go zero points whenever I play Rocket League. Same. <laughs> I think the one thing I'm good at is crashing into people, and that's not very good for my eye racing record. I was still. just about to make that comment. <laughs> it was an accident. Uh, whoever out there, if you know, 
I crashed into you. I'm sorry. But at the very least, we live to see another day, everybody. And we live to see another Saints victory. Absolutely. Love to see it. So this continues the flawlessness here for our Saints in this season. And I believe this is either 5 or 6 at this point here. Believe it or not, Nace playoffs are like a week or two away now. That's so. Uh, wow. <laughs> the regular season's wrapping up quick. And right now, Green is looking like they're in pretty good position. But to kind of recap the whole day, of course, we did have George Mason, University Academy versus our St. Clair Saints Academy in Rocket League. And that was quite the showing there for the Saints Rocket League squad with a nice, um, a nice 3 0 there. Mm hmm. Then, of course, the 3-0 that we did just witness here versus LCU. Granted, score again does not do the team justice. Not this at is, all. This is one of those ones where um, LCU would go up to the TO and say, it was 3-0, but it, it was close. And the <laughs> TO would actually look at them and, you know, like, okay, fair I, enough. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Okay, okay. As they just, yeah, 3-0. <laughs> <No. laughs> but, of course, still plenty of action coming up this week for the Saints Gaming CA stream next or. Uh, next next day tomorrow <laughs> we will have some nace league of legends action after a rather tough time here with our league squad where they've had a lot of behemoths mm -hmm. to go up against in the first little half or so of the uh, of the season looking to fight back here up against bethany lutheran uh, college i do believe that's so. a scary name it is a scary name, absolutely. Scary team as well. We'll see if they can fight back and get themselves a dub, but still also plenty of action after that. Call of Duty, Valorant, and Overwatch, to say the least. But uh, main final thoughts before we close out today? Um, not much. It's just a brief reminder that there's never a dull moment at St. Clair College, whether it's Rocket League, Call of Duty, fighting games, iRacing, Omega Strikers, whatever mm -hmm. tickles your fancy. There's always something beautiful happening. And if you never swing by, if you're a student, if you're staff, come to the Nexus. It's a fantastic Absolutely. place. The energy is beautiful. So hopefully you enjoy the time. And I hope you've enjoyed your time with us tonight as we're bound to start wrapping things up. <laughs> Absolutely. Going to be closing things up here. Of course, match started a little bit late, so like you said, thank goodness there was no uh, morning class for you, but some of us may not be so lucky. So we'll close things off. Of course, big thank you to everybody for tuning in. Big thank you, of course, to the sponsors, Alienware, St. Clair's SRC, St. Clair Alumni Association, Tim Hortons, and Subway. Big, big thank yous all around. Absolutely, and thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you for everybody in the back making this possible. And thank you, Dan. Thank you, Daniil. That's me for having <laughs> us on the stream today. And once again, thank you to all of our players, staff, everyone who makes everything here possible. We hope you have a fantastic night. Hope to see you guys tomorrow as well. Take care.